Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, can you explain how to handle dynamic weights in Selenium IDE? Let me answer. In Selenium IDE, we have some commands known as weight commands using which we can dynamically wait. Okay, let me practically demonstrate one scenario for you. So for that, I'll open this browser and open this sample application. On this sample application, there's a button here, drop down button. When I click on this drop down button, the options are not immediately coming. Rather, they are taking some time. And after they take time, the Selenium has to wait until these options come. Then it has to perform the click on one of the options like Flipkart. So how to automate this kind of things and how to make the Selenium wait for these uh, options to come. After clicking the button, the options are not immediately coming. So we have to make the Selenium ID to wait for the respective option to come, okay, or options to come. So how to make this possible in automation in Selenium ID, I'm going to show you practically now. For that, I'll click on the Selenium ID and here create a new project. I'll just give some name, random name, say okay, start the recording and uh, give this application URL here and say start recording. Once that is done, you just maximize the browser. Now scroll down and now click on the drop down button. After clicking on the drop down button, the options will come. Then click on the flip card option. This is what we generally do, right? Now go to the Selenium ID. All the steps got recorded here. Stop the recording, give some name. And to handle this, you see, after clicking on the drop down button, it is taking some time for this flip card option to come. So before this command, I'll manually right click here and say insert new command. And here I'll add, here I'll add one command that is wait for element present, this command, okay? Wait for element pr present. You see, by default, you are waiting for 30 seconds. You can modify if you want, okay? If you don't want to wait for maximum of 30 seconds, if the option comes within 30 seconds, it is not going to wait for the entire 30 seconds. It's kind of smart wait only. Wait for element present, which which element? This element, this uh, link is equal to click for, just copy paste here, okay? Wait for the element present. This For this element to come, it, it can wait up to maximum 30 seconds, okay? If the element is not coming even after 30 seconds, then the test will fail. But if the element comes before 30 seconds, it will not wait for the entire 30 seconds. Now, click on run and see whether this thing is working or not, whether the waiting mechanism is, you see, it clicked on the drop down button, it's waiting now. After waiting, a flip card option came, it clicked on the flip card option and, you know, you are taken to the flip card page. So hope guys, you understood how to handle dynamic weights in Selenium ID in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.